Download all the Sly Show podcast at theslyshow.com. Ernie's show is about to start. Yeah. So sit down, get comfortable, shut the fuck up, and listen. Man, he's a fool's always been a fucking bright dude. You ever tell you when he fucking smacked me around? Fuck no! Get over here! Don't let that fucking bastard fool you. That fool got hands. For real? I bring it up all the time. The fool's like, why don't you drop it? I was like, man, because that shit, that shit was kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, you can- Honest with her. Now that's my type of show. Yes! Check. Check. One. Two. I can hear myself, but I don't see the levels popping off. Am I going or am I not? Am I blindly talking? I'm in there. Yes, just being earnest. I'm in the house today. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for a reason. What up? Lenny is in the building. You hear that? Yeah. Lenny is in the building. (laughs) Who else is in the building? Please. At the same time. Cleve. What up, Cleve, motherfuckers? Cleve is in the building. Cleve is live in effect. I got Lenny and Cleve at the same place at the same time. They're not the same person. I told you they're not the same. It's two different people. <laughs> Lenny and Cleve. I had they had they were on the first show together, and it was a monumental show. That it was. Our first show. This is the ninth show, gentlemen. Our ninth show that we've done consistently. Having, having fun yeah. in the process. Absolutely. We just want to say happy birthday to hip hop music. It is the 44th birthday uh-huh. of hip hop music. The, the, the anniversary of the break, what they call the get down. The get down. Yeah, the get down part of the record. You know, so happy birthday to hip hop. I know our last uh, show we did, uh, we talked about the pioneers of hip hop. Uh, There were some great pioneers. Uh, Let's just not talk about the bad ones. But we could talk about some great ones. LL Cool J, great hip hop artist. The Beastie Boys. Slick Rick. Cool G Rap. Biz Marquee, Big Daddy Kane. These guys got it popping. You just gonna leave a whole West Coast out? <laughs> Cle- the, I, there's, a, there's another I'm microphone here. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's another microphone there. My bad. And, yeah, uh, I'm rolling up, so my bad. I'm, I'm, speaking, of, I'm speaking of the pioneers of hip hop. Hip hop started in New York, no matter, don't get this shit twisted. Hey, the Good. sun rises in the east. And it sets in the West. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but let's not. The words of Great Ice Cube. The Great Ice Cube. To me, the greatest rapper of all time is Ice Cube, O'Shea Jackson. To me, to my heart, Ice Cube. Ice Cube was giving Tupac the game back in the day. Digital Underground. Yep. You know about it. You know about it. Uh, happy birthday to hip hop music. You know? Yeah. They got, you know, I, I loved, you know, back in the day, they would have the disc records, you know, whatever, whether it be MC Shan and KRS-One. What are some, uh, what are some other uh, battles from uh, back in the day? Uh, cannabis, he went at, who did Cannabis play? He well, LL, LL Cool J, yeah, when, he LL Cool J went at Cool Mo yeah, D. Yeah. I'm talking Golden Age. Yeah, everybody so versus was, Hammer. Hey. <laughs> everybody versus Hammer for sure. But now everybody trying to do now what Hammer was doing back then. X Clan and uh, um, 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 MC Search. X Clan. Okay, my woke brother. Yeah. Cleve with the Ankh symbols. Where the Ankh <laughs> symbols at? Oh, Cleve got the African uh, prints around here in the studio. Oh man, what a what a great show we about to have, fellas. Absolutely. Happy birthday to hip hop music. You know, there's a new beef. Sibo uh, and Mozzie. 
Yeah. Now, now, Mozzie is a Sibo is a, a, a rapper uh, from the early '90s. Uh, he came up, Sibo, the bald head nut, fish tailing in the cut. House party, we turn the motherfuckers out. You know, he used to say all type of dice. I'm a fool, kicking up more dust than a Zulu. So duck when I bust. I know about Sibo. I'm old school. Sibo was on Tupac All Eyes On Me album twice. On two different songs, Sibo was on there. He even, he even got a hook on one. Influenced by crime, addicted to grind. You know about that shit with E40. You my mother don't know nothing about no timing. <laughs> no hugs don't know nothing about no Sibo. You know what I'm saying? Sibo till my casket drop. Sibo, Sacramento rapper. Yeah. He's got some 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 new kid named Mozzie from Sacramento rappers. Mozzie's a young kid. This young kid is, is really good. He's got heart. You can, he's got heart. He's got yeah. He's he's a really talented rapper. I would say uh, his 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 style would uh, is definitely better than Sibo's style now. You know, and he's a new and up and coming guy. But recently, I saw something of uh, 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 Mozzie uh, yelling at, uh, and going barking on Sibo on a song, and, and ooh, he was spitting. He was, Mozzie was coming with it. This little young, young little dark skinned nigga. With the dreads. You know what I'm saying? Talking wild. And he seemed official. I, these young cats is official. Take your head off in a second. So he barking at Sibo like he is the real deal. But I know of Sibo to be the real deal. Now, 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 Cleve, is this some just some youngster? Uh, well, do you know what this beef started over? What is this? Uh, I have no fucking clue. It sounded like some bullshit to me. It sounded like some bullshit. But did yeah. you hear the song where Mozzie was I, barking I on Sebo? I never heard nobody bark on Sebo like that. Yeah, we'll see how this pans out. I hope it. I hope it pans out with no bloodshit. Uh, they they talking greasy. The West they talking greasy. <laughs> they, 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 talk, they, they, they talking greasy. So they, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, so somebody from somebody camp might get laid down. Who know? Young, young, wild hooligans in the streets of Sacramento. Sibo on his videos, oh, he been banging Crip, banging Crip, Crip gang. They got him sea walking in the video. Lenny showed me some video. Uh, sounds like uh, something made in 1993. The video looks like something made in 1991 at Great America. Remember when you go to Great America and make the videos? Yeah. That's what it looked like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. You said what, Clee? I said I'm about to go make one of those. Let's make one, man. Um, but yeah. So these are just some young cats. So Lenny, man, speak on it. It's a. Uh, it's the new generation versus the old generation. So okay. Basically, what I see it as. I don't know what the what everything stems off of, but basically, what it is is. I didn't even watch the Vlad. I seen a couple clips from the Vlad interviews. And they was talking about like Vlad. Not, we don't Vlad. speak on Vlad on this I don't know, show. It was somebody shit. It was Vlad, it was it was somebody shit. But he was on there and he was saying that you know he feel like you know um, he didn't get his props or he mm. feel like you know the OG need to reach out to him or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying like we put but for right now Mozzie putting on for sack and that's official. That's 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 for real. But, so you know what I'm saying it's it, now it's it, now it goes back to like a homage thing I think more or less and you feel me I think I don't know if uh, Sibo feels uh, like he, I, I, he's owed something but mm. at the same time Mozzie feel like he don't gotta give nothing you feel what I mean like that's what it's like it's just the OGs versus the new cats and shit you know what I mean Stuff okay like thank you you feel me I think that's what it is but it, it, thank it, you it could be stamming off some, some, some blood crib shit though you feel me because they do bang you feel me they but both, are they like, are Mozzie they, official, that's Mozzie's a blood and Sibo's a crip is that what's going on or, that's, or? no that's how it could get handled though that's the but, part because shit escalates and then what, what you know what I'm saying it, it ends up becoming that like it could just be a rap battle this ain't just hip hop though this is rap you know what I mean so unfortunately Caps do get involved in that shit you know what I'm talking about man I do so I'm hoping like you said I don't know blood shit I don't know about you know is you know is I, I, I personally see trying to run this if, <laughs> if I was a young heathen in the streets uh -huh. and uh I saw Sibo, I would I would be like, motherfucker, that's Sibo right there. Right. You know, if I saw Sibo right now, I'd be like, what's up, Sibo? Right. Let me get the interview. Yeah. What's up, man? Sibo, you a legend. You know? 
I just don't understand why these youngsters don't, they don't believe in respect. And you see that with what's going on out here. A young four-year-old in, in a, a, a damn road rage dispute in Cleveland yesterday, uh, not yesterday, uh, about a week ago, uh, gets shot in the head. Got yeah, shot in the head. Got shot in the head. He's alive, thank God. Yeah, he's alive. He's a, he's alive. But he was in the he was in the car with his seven seven year old sister and his mom. And all his mom his mom honked at the person that when she went by because you know the person was blocking the intersection. Right. And the person followed her and, and, and shot into the vehicle. Damn. Yeah. So these youngsters, man, they I doubt that that was an older person that valued life. Cause these youngsters, man, they just don't—they don't give a damn, and that's not taking nothing away uh, from Mozzie's uh, rap abilities. I like what he does. I love real gangster rappers. I love that gangster rap shit when I believe you. That's why I like Fifty Cent so much. I like Fifty Cent because I watched—I watched, I watched the—I uh, watched the beef. What was it? Beef Two or something? And uh, they was interviewing somebody. Uh, uh, they was interviewing uh, somebody that had beef with 50 Cent in 50 Cent's hood. Mm. And this person was a rapper as well. I forgot who it was. But this person was beefing with uh, 50 Cent. And in the, in the person interviewing, so was like, he was like, so, so 50 Cent is, a, so you saying 50 Cent is a bitch and stuff like that? He's like, no, I'm not saying he no bitch. <laughs> you know? So, so when I heard that, that's what was that, you see something on the screen. That's, that's what question. that's what made me realize Fifty was official. Okay, you know, because everybody that, that knew Fifty Cent before was like, man, that fool was do, been doing it. Mm. So you know, I respect cats like that. Right, Mozzie, uh, I respect what he does. And Sibo, uh, that's why that's why I fuck with Sibo because I believe Sibo. Right, you know, I believe Styles P. I believe Sheik Luch and them. All them people from Yonkers, them rappers, I, man, they, they, anybody who rap that gangster shit from them, I, okay, I get it. <laughs> Styles P went down for, for, for stabbing someone. Yeah. I, you stab someone, you a cold motherfucker. You stab somebody, that shit is personal. Right. You know, it take, it take a cold bastard to stab somebody. Yeah, man. So you know these youngsters. That's that's what I take from the Mozzie, uh, the rapper Mozzie. That's what I take away from his beef with the rapper Sibo. Is that why don't youngsters show any respect to the OGs? I notice that a lot lately. Not from so much my generation, because when I see somebody from you know that's older that was doing it, you know, before me, whatever. When I see Davy D. You know, Davey D, legendary hip-hop historian, he's interviewed some of the greatest people. You know, every time I see him, you know, I, man, respect, you know what I mean? But I see him a lot, but you know, when we talk, but it's just so much respect there. Right. Even if I happen to blow up in this media game, right? right? There's no way I could come at Davey D and be like, oh, his show ain't shit. He didn't do shit. Right. Like, nah, man, that guy's a fucking legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to shout out to Davey D, man. That's the homie. He yeah. he gave me a lot of uh, info of how I'm running this machine right now. Yeah. You know, and shout out to Sibo uh, and Mozzie, man. Y'all figure that shit out and make a dope ass track after that. Throw me, get in the ring, chuck them, do what you gotta do, bro. Get back on your music shit and fucking let's bring this West Coast shit back. Just uh, my opinion. Happy birthday, hip hop music. In, in, in the name of hip hop, fucking amen, bro. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, yeah, so it's a lot going on. Uh, Trump, uh, Trump and Kim, uh, Donald Trump, uh, our, our commander of tweets. Commander of tweets. He, he loved tweeting, you know, and he tweet like a girl. I bet he tweet on his stomach, laying on his stomach. <laughs> he probably tweet laying on his stomach. Sucker ass. <laughs> but, um... He getting into it with uh, dictator uh, from North Korea, Kim Jong Un, and uh, Kim Jong Un and Donald Trump are pretty much having a, a, a dick swinging contest to see whose little dick, who has the the biggest dick out of the two guys with probably the littlest dicks on the planet. And um, Kim Jong Un said that he. 
was going to fire a nuclear weapon at the the uh, the home the homeland of half of Lenny's people. Well, or those is Lenny's people. The people yeah. of Guam. Yeah. The people of Guam, right? right. Yeah. Which is in the United States. United States territory. Yeah. United States territory. Yeah. And you're trying to hit our people. Kim Jong Un. What's what, Lenny? What's what say you, sir? I mean, shit. It's just a bunch of bullshit, you know. But the thing was, was that you know, uh, because of you know, people ask why Guam, whatever, where you know, because it is a U.S. territory. It was used in many places, you know. what I'm saying, like through the course of time, uh, from you know, uh, like the uh, Spanish to 1500s. You know, they had it to like what the 1700s. I mean, like hell of people have been in and out of there. And it's been a place for uh, trade, travel, war, you know what I mean? So, you know, but I think Kim Jong-un just want to do it just because it's American tell you, there's nothing else out there. Like it says, he already went, but he already threw something at Japan's uh, uh, little backyard, you feel me? Remember Japan had to react to that shit. And I think we might have rolled with them on that, if I'm not mistaken, but... But, okay, you know, okay, but, uh, China said today, China said today that, uh, that they're, um, they're neutral on... Yeah. They're, they're neutral, and they'll defend any Asian country that the U.S. Uh, tries to go through. Well, that's, yeah, that's, well, that, that means that, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're taking into consideration fucking Korea then, because that's them, right? You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's, a, that's what they're saying. You're not really neutral if that's what you're saying, and that's the, obviously the country that's in the area, right? Or, I, I don't know. I, I just, I just think that the, shit, the, I just think the United States need to stop trying to just run up in other people's countries. Yeah, well, that's what I, that's what I think. I, I think that this motherfucker is crazy. Yeah. I mean, um. If, if anything, you know what I'm saying. I think this motherfucker is crazy, but 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 on the other hand, I know that uh, North Korea's budget uh, for nuclear weapons is five billion. And the, not much for that kind of shit, is it? Five billion. Five billion. The U.S. got twenty billion. So like, I mean, the U.S. got twenty billion. So he, he, you know, he, his 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 missiles. Uh, I think he then he tried to launch one, and then it just kind of just went. That was in Japan's water. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, and it, it couldn't hit nothing. Didn't do nothing. I think they just did that. Like I don't know. I just wanted to throw something out. There. Oh, so he he out so, there. You know, they he they out there plans. turning up though. He he not playing. So it takes fifteen minutes for a missile to go from North Korea to Guam. That's how long, about 14 how? minutes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So roughly under 20 minutes, they'll get a missile. That's what they say if they have the capability. That's how, how long it'll take to get there. There's uh, what they call 15 minutes. There's what they got. They got Anderson, uh, Anderson Air Force Base over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, that's got those uh, the anti, you know, uh, uh, missiles or whatever. The ones that the uh, anti-ballistic missiles or whatever the hell. They'll, they'll go and intercept it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they got that over there. So, you know, they're not really worried about it. It's just, you know, uh, if it does happen, of course, I'm pretty sure everybody on the islands, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, prayers out there to everybody out there. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, it sucks. You know what I mean? Uh, but I think they'll be cool because if, if it's a U.S. territory and they're shooting at it, then the U.S. better do what they're supposed to do because they've been there for so damn long already. Is Donald Trump, like, because he was on the, he was on the, uh, he was in the, the, some thing talking greasy. It's going to, talking about it's going to be a, a fury of fire or some, some but, dumb uh, shit like that. Like, you know, they're not already trying to shoot missiles and shit like that over there anyway. They were trying to get, the United States was trying to get some of the, uh, the islands also in the, uh, uh, some of the Micronesian islands to use for target practice and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, you know? Uh, so, you know, it's kind of fucked up, but, you know, uh, if the shit's out there and it, and and and, uh, and they shoot something off, I'm pretty sure they'll have it covered, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping they'll have it covered. They better, but they've been there since what, you know what I'm saying? I mean... I've been there for a long time, bro. Long time. If they do that shit, man, uh... The motherfuckers in North Korea better evacuate. Right. Well, because, look, look, you even have uh, Japan, you know what I'm saying? They went through there, was it... Uh, General James T. Mattis ain't fucking around. Like that. They got pushed out. The Spaniards got pushed out of there. So it's oh, everyone's been fighting for the island for the longest time. Mm. The people there, dude, the, the population dwindled so badly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, people there got afros and shit. <laughs> y'all, if y'all don't know about Guam, people out there got afros and shit. I didn't even know till I went to the museum, and I seen and I seen people from Guam and shit, like native people from Guam. They got like froze and shit. 
they can pick this shit out. Yeah. You know, you don't. Yeah, you you know, got much, you know. They be doing all type of cool shit though, man. That shit is that shit is culture, man. That shit is a native culture. Yeah, but you know, that's they 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 got shit, man. They yeah. you know. It's, it's a it's a. Beautiful culture, man. I'm telling you. I've never yeah. been to that island. It's me neither. But and I, I heard it's cheap. It's I heard it's cheap. Well, I heard it's cheap to know, go. I, I, I mean, it's one of the cheap. Are expensive, dude. They're expensive. That's like one of the more expensive things that you. Yeah, tourism over there is not too bad. It's moderate. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. There's a lot of really nice. Stuff. That's what they get. They they get their money from hospitality, but, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But even that, with all of the stuff that's been happening, you know what I'm saying? Like tourism out there, probably has been kind of whack and shit. I'm sure now. You know what I mean? It's, Especially now they over here trying to shoot uh, nuclear missiles and shit at them. That's that bullshit, man. I'd be like, man, we got to get up out of here. Are they hella poor up in there or what? Nah, Saipan got hit, you know. Uh, What's Saipan, uh, homie? Saipan's another area, uh, another island. Another uh, island in Guam. Commonwealth of Mariana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 okay, what you talking about Commonwealth and all that? You're going to have to spit us with the knowledge. We're not from Guam. Nah, See, well, your listeners don't know. Yeah, well, nah, I don't want to take too much time, but real quick. <laughs> nah, come on, sum it, so, sum, sum it up. There's, in there's, there's, there's an island in, the, in, 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 you know, uh, in the Pacific, an uh, island chain. You know, uh, you got Guam, which at the bottom, you know, and they kind of, they say like Guam, you know, America's Day begins. It's, it's, you know, that's where America's Day begins. And, uh, you know, um, there's other islands, of Saipan, Rota, Tini, and Cocos Island. Um, there's uh, Pagan Island, and you go in the mm. Micronesia Islands. There's a whole bunch of islands out there, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 and, and some of those islands were the uh, islands I was talking about earlier as far as they're trying to use for testing testing sites. So anyways, uh, Saipan, which we're, we're actually, uh, my grandmother's from. Uh, okay, okay. You know, my dad's side. My from Saipan. Side. Yeah, yeah, my dad's from Guam. Saipan, okay. My, my, my grandfather's from Guam. That's what now we know what Saipan is. See, Saipan got hit by the uh, industrial uh, uh, revolution, uh, like uh, uh, area, area, like you know, uh, what's it called? It the cotton when people were like uh, making the garment industry, I guess. Okay, okay. So, so what happened was so the white man came in and fucked your shit up. Yeah. Is summed up before, yeah, before it went to China and shit. They, everybody okay. was in Saipan, and then next to you, the know, Europeans, was, yeah, the Europeans so, came in. No, it was, it was the US. I mean, it was you know what I'm saying, but yeah, so yeah, bro. We, I could go off for a while because I know I forget a lot of what? shit. But I just Western culture that. engulfed um, uh, Guam, um, but they are, um, you know, we want those people, we want those people protected, man. I wish we had like fucking Superman or something. You know what I'm saying? Kick the kids and Where's Superman at, huh? Where Where's God? Man, the love. Where's God, homie? I'll tell you. Anyways, man, yeah, so, I mean, we could talk about that, but, you know, there's other bullets. What, yeah, man, that I, I was just, I'm just getting it in with you. Yeah. Uh, Cleve was in the building, and then he yeah. walked out. I haven't seen him since. Cleve is a mysterious fella. I think he goes in the house and gets slapped by his wife. Remember I asked you on the last show. Not oh, you, yeah, not you. Right. I said, is, yeah, Cleve, yeah, is Cleve a battered husband? I asked him, and he said, he, he said, hell no, nah. hell no, nah. that, shit, that shit don't go down. I'll be checking her. <laughs> I believe him. But I, but, but I kind of believe he, he gets socked in the mouth. If he, comes, if he comes in the house, if he comes back in the studio grabbing his face, he would know. Well, it's kind of going to be a toothache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not an abscess. Yeah, so, you know, uh, me too, man. Everything is good, man. To the honest, man. It's a dick. It's hopefully it's just a it's dick, just a, a dick yeah. swinging contest that's oh. going on on Twitter. That's what it's always been though. Every time he's done it, it's always he's done a bunch of bluffs and a bunch of failed ass week tests. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it's been uh, forever. You know what I'm saying? This is just another time he felt like barking. I'm, this time I'm a fucking hair. Barking. His haircut cold though. He got a cold ass haircut. There you go. Cleve! Oh, he, Cleve came in with his head down. What happened? I was asking, I was asking if you're a battered husband. No. Yeah, he, he, she doesn't. Oh, speaking of battered, Ezekiel Elliott of the Dallas Cowboys has been suspended for six games today. Ezekiel Elliott, uh, NFL leading rusher and rookie of the year from last season, in his second year in the league, suspended for the first six games for allegedly giving a bitch uppercuts and eye jammies. Wow. For, for allegedly three days straight. <laughs> allegedly for three days straight, stomping her ears together. Hmm. 
But there's a big, big butt here. Need to pause that one. No pun intended. Pause whatever the youngsters say. Oh, <coughs> somebody hit the weed too hard. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but um, the, the but is that uh, is Ezekiel Elliott was cleared of all charges by the police. So it was a false accusation, or she was just like, nah, we could. The be- NFL did their own private investigation, and they got a bunch of ladies on the panel now. And doing a private investigation. Aside, it doesn't matter what the law said. So then the, the NFL came up with the conclusion that he violated uh, league conduct rules. And suspended this man and took a lot of money from him because he's on a rookie contract. Okay. You know? Ooh, Cleve buzzing. That's his wife talking about, get your ass in this house before I put you in a headlock, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, um, that's, uh, he's losing money. You think that's wrong? You think that's wrong, or you think that hey, man, they they found some evidence that you know what I'm saying? And you kicked her in the back three times one day. You know who knows? I don't know what he did. That's why I'm making stuff up. You know, right? The police cleared him. The police didn't say what he did. They cleared him of all charges. But the NFL want to tell you what he did. Did they show the pictures of his girl? Nope. Nope. Hey, show me some bitches. You know what I'm saying? Show they some they doing when, them. When, when Chris Brown stomped Rihanna's ears together, you know, we, we saw the pictures. We did. We did. <laughs> the pictures. We did. Chris <laughs> Brown uh, biting and shit. You know? The pictures. Is this some, you know, some, you know? Nigga trying to fuck some bitch trying to fuck up his side money or something. I don't know. It already happened. She already she she fucked up his money big time, and uh, I think that's weak, man. I think that's weak. The police didn't like even charge him. You know what I mean? Mm mm mm. Run, nigga, run. Ain't that what they say in Higher Learning? You ever see the movie Higher Learning with Ice Cube? Seen that. He's talking about, you know, he's just talking about how, you know what I'm saying, he's an athlete or whatever. Nice cube. Yeah, yeah and he's like, you got to run to get that scholarship. Yep. Run, nigga, run. That's all I can tell you, Ezekiel Elliott. I don't know, man. Stop uh, stop roughing girls up, man. That's not cool. Shouldn't be yes, roughing with bitches, you know what I mean, if you're that type of status anywhere. Just cause I mean, man, what you mean? Make, what you they, mean they, you shouldn't be fucking with bitches? Oh, no. You, you, you What's just, up, Cleve? You, you just need to, you know. I would stay the fuck away because you say well, you stay the fuck away from girls. Of uh, that status, when you have that status and then you got bitches just talking shit like that. Oh yeah, 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 you yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what you're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I understand fully. I understand fully. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta put some guards up around you, like you know what I mean. Ezekiel Elliott out there tripping. I'm tripping. Walking around with his mid drift out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was walking around. He was at the at, at the uh, at the thing with his stomach he all some out. Type of short shirt or something. Or yeah, what? man, he was wearing. He wore a suit. It was I think it was to the ESPYS. It was to the ESPYS. He wore a suit and and he had his stomach out, uh, looking like some type of Chi Chi man. Damn. You know. But uh, anyway, Ezekiel Elliott, just just run, baby. I don't know. You got to sit out for hella long. Six games. Six games in the NFL is a lot. A lot of games. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's almost half the season. It's like a third of you, huh? Yeah. It's almost half the season, man. Um, but anyway, you know, it's the Cowboys. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> What's up with uh, your boy Usher over here? I the girl. <laughs> <laughs> the girl <laughs> the girl uh Usher um the, did you see Usher's accuser? Uh I, I yeah, I saw. <laughs> you saw Usher's accuser? Yeah. She looked like a uh um like <laughs> she looked like a different like taller version of Precious. You know what I'm saying? She's she's um she's got really big arms. <laughs> She, she looks like a, uh, she looks like a retired NFL lineman. Ouch. 
She's really big. Um, Let me see. Yeah. She, she uh, I forgot what her name was. Can you look it up and tell me? Florida her name? Evans is her name. No, it says Florida <laughs> Evans. No, <laughs> Florida <laughs> Evans. You the, yo, you hella funny, man. Tear <laughs> no, her name is like Shanquisha. What's her name? Can y'all look up the name? I think it's like Shanquisha. Oh, oh my goodness, we got we moving slow, y'all. But um, she shouldn't be messing with nobody with the name Isha with the money that you got. Right, right. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Ika, Ika. <laughs> well, no, well, I don't. I don't agree with that actually. The woman who was suing us allegedly. I don't agree with that. Cleve out here wilding. <laughs> Again. <laughs> As per usual. You know <laughs> Cleve out here wilding, man. There's another uh, one. But this, this, this woman, anyway, this woman, uh, she's overweight. Um, extremely overweight. When I would say overweight, I would say she is about 200 pounds overweight. Um, and that's not, I'm not shaming her at all. I would say from somebody who studied that type of stuff, I studied kinesiology, I can say that that woman, even from looking at her on TV, I know the television adds 10 pounds, but she is easily 200 pounds overweight. Mm -hmm. And, um... Not 200 pounds, but 200 pounds overweight. 200 pounds overweight. I think she's, um, about 346 pounds. I don't know, man. I'm just saying. It's just spitballing. I'm guessing. It's just like it. I'm eyeballing it. I ain't got no scale. You know what I'm saying? But check it out, man. I have a hard time believing that Usher, a man of his stat stature, uh, would be uh, uh, shacking up at a Holiday Inn or with some, with some big bitch, man. He was with Chili from TLC. Yeah, he was with Chili from TLC. And you telling me he's he's shacking up with this with this woman. With the, all of this woman. <laughs> talking about she got herpes. Even even heard her say, um, uh well saw her tweet uh a week before she came out with that and said, I need some money. She sent out a tweet that said, I need some money. What is her name? Quantisha? What is it? I just looked it up. That's what it said right now, yeah. What is it? It's something just like what you said, Harlan. <laughs> something just like <laughs> what I said. That's what, that's what Lenny said. It, it's something just like what you said. <laughs> no, because it's, it's right here. It's right here. Uh, Let me see. Here. The woman's name is Quantasia. There, Qu Quantasia Sharpton. Yeah. Quantasia Sharpton. No... No... Uh, Relation to Al Sharpton, the uh, the preacher who takes selfies and looks crazy. Al Sharpton looks crazy. You see his selfies? No. Oh man, he looks crazy. You, when, when you <laughs> see, take selfies. When you see Al Sharpton's selfies, if you Google Al Sharpton's selfies, you will fall out laughing. He looks crazy. <laughs> I know you saw it. I ain't see those. He looks crazy. You sh oh my God! When you see when you see the Al Sharpton selfie for the first time, y'all gonna fall out crying, laughing, right, and go. you are gonna be like, "Here we go." Ern said, Ern said, this shit was hella funny. But it, <laughs> anyway, I have a hard time believing that Usher was shacking up with her, man. No way. I met Usher fell. Usher had to fall all the way off if that's what he's shacking up with. Usher can go anywhere. And you tell, oh, unless he, Cleve <laughs> 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 laughing, he just saw the Al Sharpton selfie. Yo, yo, Cleve saw the Al Sharpton selfie. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh, his body looked like a lollipop, homie. Huh? Al, Al Sharpton out here thinking he a snack. Wow, bro. <laughs> Taking 62-year-old selfies. He got Al in the leg. <laughs> he looking crazy. Oh, Al Sharpton out here looking wild. Shit. Anyway, that was, that was a good deterrent. We were talking. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, fuck my but, fault. Let's, let's, but, let's bring it back but, in. But, but no, we can bring it back in. All I was trying to say was, man, I have a hard time believing Usher going out like that. 
Does she have the disease or the sickness? I don't, sickness I don't know. Control? I don't know. Well, Usher got medical reports. Uh, 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 allegedly, Usher just got medical reports saying he didn't have herpes at all. Never had it. So he has it. And he said he's suing. So... Uh, but they say or uh, the Lisa well, you know who Lisa Bloom is, she always get the, 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 the people out there to get the celebrities. Oh yeah. You know the same lady that's always out there with everybody. Yeah. yeah. So she out there saying all she she was she feels ashamed because Usher said that the girl wasn't her type and she said that all of the, the, the people, all of the girls who are accusing him are overweight. What? Yeah, so I'm 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 having a hard time believing this one, man. Look, you know when you're a celebrity nowadays, what I've been noticing of this um, type of regular thing that's going on is that they're going for this bad public publicity. To uh, I mean, you know, because bad looking, publicity. They're looking for that. Mm. Cause it, it's you know what I mean. It's it, it's regardless, you're still talking about the Nick. You overcome something. Or You're still talking about tomorrow. There's a triumph. There's a big triumph. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, well, he did a good fucking job. Right. So, I don't know. I hear you, Cleve. That's a good angle. You know? Bobby yeah. Valentino, on the other hand. Bobby <laughs> Valentino. Did we talk about Bobby <laughs> Valentino? We but, but no, look, we didn't. I mean, that could be... I, th- I feel like you and I. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. I talked about Bobby Valentino with Sly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was on a slideshow. But anyway, I mean, you know, that could be the same situation. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? I don't know, man. I mean, it's like everybody's looking for something bad about themselves because that's going to get them talking more so than them doing something good. Bobby Valentino on Instagram trying to give people advice. <laughs> Hey, didn't he, uh, like somebody asked a video of him, like, running out of the hotel? A tranny had a video of him running out of the hotel because he didn't want to pay the, because <laughs> he didn't want to pay the coin. Oh. He's running out of the hotel trying to cover his face. Mm-hmm. So sad. It's all good, man. You know, real quick, I just want to get this out of here. I'm fucking stunned right now, so... You know, the whole Guam thing, man, I didn't get to really elaborate on that shit because I went a lot into it, you know what I'm saying? I tried to go real deep and show the history real quick before you know, I gave my opinion on the whole shit, but I really... You're revisiting Guam. Yeah, just real quick. I just really hope that, you know what I'm saying? Everything is cool with everybody out there, you know what I mean? But really, the history, though, man, the, the history uh, with the Idanos, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. They've been through a lot. I, you know, yeah. Man. The Spaniards, you know, every every culture, of course, has been that's been, in, you know. What would you say is the most horrible thing that happened to them? The, the, right. What what they what? what no, no, no. no I, I understand they went through a lot. Japanese. I, I understand that that they went through a lot, because me being a black man, I, like I said, I'm saying, saying, black black, black I definitely, definitely relate. Right. But I'm saying, is there one specific event that you can name that happened to them uh, that people might might be able to relate to? I don't know, man. Is I there mean, like a specific thing, like oh, such and such came through Spaniards, with, with Spaniards a chopper? Came through. Uh, Spaniards came through. And, uh, Spaniards. Just, just call them. The, call them the Europeans. Call them the white, white Europeans. Europeans. That's what they are. That, uh, Magellan, before he got killed by the Filipinos, that mother had. Hey. Okay. Back. Okay. Okay. He tapped in with the Chamorros and he went back to the Philippines and my uncle finished him off. I feel like. <laughs> 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 <He'll get that laughs> Anyways. So real quick, the Spaniards, you know, they they used it over there. They they uh they brought Catholicism and and, and Christianity and all that. You know, mm, mm, mm. To the island, you know? Mm, mm, mm. that's 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 how they keep pe- people obedient is you give them the religion bullshit. But keep going. And then, you know, uh, some shit happened to Spanish American War. You know what I mean? Uh, the Moors, you said? Spanish American War. Oh, okay. That one. Uh, that happened, and America took it then. But you know. Um, then Japan came when 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 the U.S. wasn't really established there. Then that's mm. when they did the whole shit over there. They were there for like three years, I think. But yeah, it's fucked up, man. Prayers to the Ali, bro. Yeah. So uh, let's protect Guam. Let's protect Guam. Better shoot them shits off when you need to. Let's go. Uh, yeah. What's uh what's what's this problem with, with Guam though? Oh, oh we, we we were talking we were talking earlier when you were in there that uh, Kim Jong Un said he gonna shoot a uh, 
shoot a nuclear. Um, no, but, but what's his what's his deal with Guam now? Because it's in the U.S. It's, it's U.S. territory. Uh, uh. But you know. He ain't gonna try to fuck with like New York or you know anywhere like oh, Midwest. Yeah, yeah. No, he can't. I don't know if he can make it that far. Closest from. thing to U.S. because it's U.S. soil. Oh, okay. Like, they can't make it across the waters yet, bro. They barely right, can right, go right. to Japan's waters. You feel me? Okay. So, they, like, they, they can't. They can get a missile to Guam they, in fifteen they, minutes, though. You they, feel me? Yeah, they, 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 can they can get a go. missile to Guam in fifteen minutes. Lenny just elaborated. I don't know if you guys could hear him, but they can get a a missile to Guam in fifteen minutes. But they can't get a missile to uh, motherfucking. Uh, they can't hit like Missouri. Nah, nah. They ain't got that big money yet. Nah. Yeah, they don't got that money. <laughs> they, and we had explained. We we also explained earlier. Cleve was missing. Goodness, Cleve. We also. Explained earlier that the U.S. Uh, budget for uh, nuclear uh, missiles is uh, 20, 20 billion, and uh, North Korea is five. So it's a lot of firepower on the U.S. They don't know if they want it like that. And they already got. Shit. And they over here talking with this racist. They they literally talking about this racist. You know what I mean? You know Donald Trump probably over there like. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, and James T. Mattis, mm -hmm. hell of a general. Uh, but James T. Mattis probably over there, like, oh, we gonna get these pan faces. You know what I'm saying? Really though, when you think about it, <laughs> I feel bad for the South Koreans because they're connected to them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? They're a cool one. You know what I mean? Yeah, they cool. I mean, well, they, the North Koreans is cool too. I mean, if they had a chance to be, they never had. Any, yeah, they, man, they, they over there struggling. They they, wall, they over there so they over there they over there struggling, and they about to get vaporized on some bullshit. They have no idea what's out of their country. Never yeah, had. they don't know. It's crazy. Shit, nigga, let let uh, I don't know, man. You got they might do us like they like you know Vietnam did us. Oh, we on <laughs> we we on our politics <laughs> you know I mean? today. We yeah. don't, we hey, don't know politics today. about enlisting and you know that shit, I think twice. No, I mean, oh, some, yeah. some some people want to do that shit, though. Yeah, and and we saying. appreciate them dudes who want to do that shit. Because I, I, got, I got some buddies out there. I got a lot, I got a lot of buddies out there that served. And, and man, I, I, I really appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? You follow whatever you want to do. I feel, I feel if, bad for y'all, man. If you play, if you play in... Uh, the, the also, also uh, the recent, the recent, uh, you know, whole uh, enlistment and everything. Guam has like one of the highest enlistment and casualty rates. Mm, mm. I mean, so we, casualties. Where are they going? Who are they fucking with? Why they got they, casualties? They, they lied to the military. That's how so, they get off so who, who is Guam? Who is Guam fighting? They enlisted to the American military, bro. Oh, yeah. word, say word, say yeah. word. I got a cousin that's like mm. a lieutenant or something like a drill sergeant in the Air Force. I got a nephew in the say uh, word in the Marines. I got another cousin in the Air Force. Talk you know that shit. Like, Go talk that bro, shit, man. Shout out to them. Fuck the government. Yeah. Fuck you, Trump. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. You say whatever, Trump. man. It's whatever, man. This is free speech, man. This is yeah, this is America. Hey, just throw them in the motherfucking octagon and let them just fucking take that fade. Yeah. Both. Take that fade, right? Fuck it. Kim. Why Kim. Just Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim. John. Kim. John. I want to put the twins on him. I think. Put the twins on. Yeah, yeah. They got they got taekwondo. Yeah, yeah. He be kicking. I don't know what they be doing, man. But he'll get on Donald Trump. Donald Trump look like he can't do Not shit. <laughs> yeah, he like he got a fluffy marshmallow body. <laughs> but yeah, we got back on. We was back on the politics. Cleet came back in and asked questions and shit. Brought the fire back. No, yeah. I miss him. Yeah. Put my damn child to sleep. He was putting the child to sleep. Yeah. He he out is he out now, Cleve? He, he's definitely out. Oh yeah. I gotta check on him periodically, so you might hear a little bit of silence on mine here and there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I ain't gonna ask no questions. But yeah, so I finally got both of you in here. Yeet. And so now we can get on some hip hop talk. Say word. Just for just for a brief minute, some more hip hop talk, cause it is today is the birthday of hip hop. It is August 11th, 2017, and is just being earnest via theslideshow.com. So when they say the birthday, I didn't really research this shit. It is the. Does this mean like this was the day like you know what I mean? Cool uh, Herc hooked up. The, 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 this the, is the, the first turntable yeah, and shit. So and this the is, was out there this is, the first block party. And so shit. this is the day. This is the day of the uh, of the the break the the get down the breakdown uh, on the beat and when DJs you know it's, the DJ started the DJ. The, DJ started the whole shit and Cleve is a DJ. Yeah. And Cleve is the DJ. So we are talking DJs 
today on Just Being Earnest. Um, Shout out to all the DJs. Who is, in your objective, humble opinions, the greatest four DJs of all time? That's a good one. Anybody want to take this one first? I gotta, I need to light up a cigarette for that one, cause geez. Mm, okay, okay. The greatest four DJs. Greatest four. Uh, of all time, guys. Uh, oh. Damn, that's, that's a hard one, man. I, I have to say, uh, fuck, You want me to come back to you? I, I've always like, I mean, and this ain't in no particular order. Man. It doesn't have I, to I, be. I'm gonna have to go with like DJ Crazy Tunes, who's one of my favorites. Crazy Tunes? Um. Currently, I do like DJ A Track. DJ A Track is really good, man. Um, I'll have to say. Let me get an OG in there. I'm talking Master Flash. Flash, huh? Flash. I'll go with Flash. And um, mm, I have to go with uh, DJ A. DJ AM Oh AM Hit him oh, DJ AM was dope oh, DJ AM yeah. DJ AM was dope Yeah I definitely That's ha- list. I mean and it's not In no particular order I mean that's just Cut out the top of my head like, I, really. I definitely have to say DJ AM Yeah I definitely have to say Primo Primo DJ Premier Yeah For those who don't know Who Primo is DJ Premier Um Then I would have to say DJ Jazzy Jeff. Ooh. That's a cold motherfucker right there. And then uh Jazzy Jeff Jazzy Jeff was cold. Um but that's that's only three. That's only three. I stopped at Jazzy Jeff because I'm a, I'm I'm battling right now. I'm battling right now. I mean Um You got I don't know. I gotta. You got Q birds. You got. Q-Birds. I, I was just about to say. Dre, I was. Q birds. I was. No. I, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my last one out. Let me get my last one out. My la- Let me get my last one out. Okay. I was. I was battling between these two. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna have to throw Shadow to the side and put DJ Quick right there, because DJ Quick mm. is a hell of a motherfucker on the turntables. If you didn't know, you should check him out. Yep, yep. Uh, I had to put DJ Quick in there. That's that's and that's that's my last guy. Ooh, let me get that clean because you know it's, it was Quick. I know you gotta say something about Quick. Yeah, man. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, Quick is one of my top five people of all time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah. Me, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because he yeah. always, to me, what inspired me about him is uh, dude. Just you know, I watched the documentary on him a while back, and he just looked like he was having fun. I've always noticed in. Uh, the genre of music that everybody takes shit so seriously and it's that's cool but I mean have fun yeah. I need a seven up because my head is spinning round and round I think I better sit down y'all y'all know about that that's DJ Quick right there yeah it's a song called Tonight you youngsters don't know about that you better get up on some DJ Quick get up on DJ Quick tonight I bet you you you, you hear this show youngsters I know you youngsters listen to my show and I appreciate you for it yeah when you when you, when you're done listening to the show, put on DJ Quick tonight. Yeah, you, you bet you listen to it at all your parties. Just all like Compton. Out. Just like Compton. I say Denver. Yeah. It's just like Compton. That was that shit, man. DJ Quick. All right, Lenny got to give his uh his DJs. Oh shit. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna throw Cubert out there. Cubert. Okay, yeah, Cubert yeah. on the Philippine hey, hey, Filipino side of the Bay, game. Bay Area side of the game. Bay Area side of the game. Bay Area side of the game. Uh, Let's see who else we got. Uh, I mean, like I said, Dre though, because he 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 also turned Doc, into a producer. Doc, you know Dr. Dre you know from the World Class Wrecking Crew. Um, another cool person that's uh, cool on the tables that I've seen. Um, well, let's see. Let's so, uh DJ. Uh, I, Jazzy, I, you know, I heard a lot of his shit. You know what I'm saying? But it was more just to the records, cuts and scratch. Like there's just different. You never seen him live? There's, no, I haven't. But I heard he's dope. No, he's crazy. So I, you know, what I'm saying that's why I, I throw him out there just because. But off on the strength. But I mean, I've seen videos of him. I guess. But there's a lot of a lot of cats that I seen out here just in the bay alone. Do that. I could throw out there. Kid Capri is a cold motherfucker. Kid Capri's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I like the old school dude. DJ Premier though, I definitely had to throw him out there. Definitely Premier man. Primo. Primo. I'm on a freestyle or something like that. I just like listen to fucking. I'm oh like Pete Rock. Yeah. Pete Rock. Pete Rock. See what's smooth. Uh, who else was out Tip there? Tip the hat to Cleve for saying uh, Pete Rock. Let's see. Damn. I'm stoned right now. Fuck Master Flex. Uh, Boo. <laughs> I'd rather eat a glass sandwich. I'd rather eat a glass sandwich than listen to Funk Master Flex. I, mean, like, I, I just can't think of anybody right now, but there's a lot, though. You know, and, and honestly, just because I'm the, I'll say this to say that, uh, say this, but uh, DJs are one of the most, still one of the, you know, uh, underappreciated uh, uh, elements of hip hop. And I think that uh, uh, as, you know, again, bringing it back to the. I don't the, think so. I think so, dude. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? And that and, and. I disagree. DJs get all the pussy. I I I I I I disagree. DJs these days, after especially after DJ AM, DJ AM cracked the door open. <clears throat> DJ AM made the DJ the the superstar, and it has been that way. I mean, well, the, what I'm saying is is that at the clubs though, you pay these kids the fucking thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying to fucking push buttons and shit. You know. What I mean, it's this like, DJ. I mean, not not all of them though. That's yeah, not what AM. That's not what AM was yeah, doing. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what AM was doing. For real though. Am found out. Am made it. Made it. I don't know, man. He was off. He was off the chain. That motherfucker. That motherfucker spent some. Uh, that motherfucker spent some young Jeezy with Leonard Skinner and that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, there's a lot, man. There's a fucking lot of DJs. Mix Master Mike. Mix Master Mike. Um, shit. Who the fuck else is there out there, man? I mean, there's a lot. Uh, 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 um. It's a lot. It's a lot, but it's not that many. You want DJ Pooh too, man. Up, oh, man. DJ Pooh, okay. Okay. Uh, again, I can't really. That's that's why I feel like damn. I'm just like I don't appreciate. I didn't appreciate the DJ's actually. Uh, yeah, he speaking D on my behalf. Yeah, he's speaking on his behalf. Yeah, Rock yeah, Raider, yeah. rest in peace. Oh shit. Rock Raider. And then um, DJ Babu. Yeah. Babu, that's uh, Dilated Peoples. DJ Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. Um, fuck. Okay. I mean, fuck. We we can sit around okay. and talk. Like, like, no, like, 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 but this is but this is this is the birth this is the birthday of hip hop music. Yeah. You know, graffiti. People don't be too much break dancing. Well, a lot of Filipinos and stuff be break dancing out there, pop locking, boogaloo and all that, whatever you call it. They they brought it back. Gyros and all that fly shit. Wait, the I, I started off of, uh, you know, dancing and shit. My yeah, my, always, my, uh, my boy Tyrae used to do all that shit and do yeah. all the graffiti and all the fly shit. Yeah. I just knew how to talk. Graffiti was like the high, uh, high school era for me. Right, you know what I'm saying? Just tearing like, shit up, fucking, fucking the school up. Okay, and, um, okay. DJing, I was always in and out of rapping, I was always in and out of, like, so those, those were just natural, but, like, more so the breakdancing and b-born, I had different, or, and, and graffiti, I had a, uh, Different stages in my life where I was like, okay, I was doing that graffiti. I was doing that. Graffiti. Of them what was kind like of that. what kind of graffiti were you doing? Were you doing like were you doing like pieces and stuff like that, or were you like one of those kids who were, who were right? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Shit. No, I, I was honestly yeah, I was right. terrible at graffiti. I like doing like characters and stuff. Mm -hmm. I had no type of can control when it comes to like spray painting. Right, right. So I was more like into black books and whatnot. And, like, okay, just passing okay. Books around throughout class. No, okay, the legal stuff. Yeah. The legal stuff. I was more so. I mean, I used to run around with my friends and fill train spots, but I stopped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. I, I, used, to, I used to just go around so I can drink 40s with them. <laughs> yeah. No, I was terrible at it. But I, I mean, we used to drink 40s together. Yeah. And they used to spray paint some dope shit. I got, you know, the dude speaking at the beginning of this uh, uh, montage about uh, me slapping him around, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Rock um, <laughs> But yeah, he uh, that's my boy, man. He do my tattoos, and he used to do all the fly graffiti shit back in the day, too. You know, and hip-hop is a motherfucker, man. It don't matter what, you know? Yep. But it's, you know, then it comes down to the MC. Yep. Now, I don't want to get into who's the best MC of all time. I just want to get into who's your top three favorite MCs 
of all time. This is the birthday of hip hop. We're doing a show, just being earnest. I got Cleve and Lenny in the building with me on the same show, and we in here, we in here stoned, mm -hmm. giving it to you, giving it to you, rough, rugged, and raw. No lubrication. <laughs> all right. So, your favorite. Oh, I'm gonna kick this one off. Yes, you are gonna kick this one off. Your favorite top three uh -huh. MCs of all time. To your to? not not no, not your not the best. Uh -huh. Not not who you think is the best top three your MCs of all time. Two. But you know, just your favorite ones. All right. Your top three favorite MCs to listen to. Floor is yours, sir. Let's go. I can't, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Park out of this one just for the sake. Cause I want. Whatever, say, man. I no, said no, no, your no. favorite. Because again, I, I like, like I said, I can. You, you can freaking. I can wake up and start the day listening to a pop song and, and go through the day. You know what I'm saying? Slapping shit. So that's why I'm saying like to listen to, favorite to listen to. <clears throat> but uh, as far as like to listen to some fun shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and could always keep you entertained. Lenny, who is your favorite? What? Top three. To listen to. MCs yeah. to listen to. Name name that MC and then tell us why they're your favorite. Uh, I'll say Pac M. Why 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 Pac? Why Pac? Because I can listen to them all. Like just you know what I'm saying. Like I said, to listen, fun to listen to. I mean, I I like listening to music because it's fun and Pac. I just do it, that. Yeah, that's that. So so, you, so so when you hear Tupac music, you think fun. Man, because he's you got the songs that he's done. It's not necessarily hit him up or you feel me, uh, California Love and shit. You got songs like um, House into a Happy Home. You got um, uh, 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 what's that other one? Um, okay, who is it? Who? Love. You feel uh, me? Like, okay, so you so like you that. so you like that so you like that side of I Tupac. To everything. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so all right, so now who's number two? Andre. Um, Andre 3000, why? Because he can pretty much rap over anything and then... Man, did you hear that shit that he did with fucking, uh... Who, uh, 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 with Erica Badu? No. Oh, shit, man, y'all gotta slap that shit. Okay, yeah, slap that. Do yourself a favor, thank you later. Slap that, Erica Badu and Andre 3000. It's something new? Yeah, dude, it's fucking... Okay. We gonna slap that, we should slap that before then, just so we could, you know... No, that, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll listen to it after. But, uh, we'll talk about uh, it number right three now. to listen to, fuck, dude, uh, who else is one to listen to? Uh, M, I mean, he just, again, another... Eminem, why? Surprise you every time you rap, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, keeps you on your toes for listening, you don't say the same shit. Cleave, I don't try to take a... No, 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 oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Look. Lenny, Lenny sped through that. Well, cause I don't want to take it too. We could talk about this shit. Oh, fucking night, bro. Like for real, like you know what I'm saying? Okay. If you have uh, questions pertaining to why he's rapping, you know, that, again, I could listen to him and be entertained, and you know what I'm saying? You can listen to him and be entertained. Yeah, absolutely. All right, word. Absolutely. Word. Cleve, who is your favorite top three MCs? Of all time, we have to say. No, uh, to listen to. You said I have to say, to say Merce. <laughs> no, I, hold on, hold on. Lenny said. Right. Lenny says fun. The, the, the most fun to listen to. I, I did. I did not say that. I said who. I said who is your favorite? Oh, favorite. Well, I said. Yeah. I said who are your favorites? And oh, yeah. That's who you named. Yeah, that's, I could, I'll, and I'll be content with that too. Absolutely. No, no, no. I'm good. All right, you said Merce. I said Merce. 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 Why Merce? Um. Because the dude has like thirty five plus albums. Okay, because um, I've been listening to him for a long time. I feel like he's the he's, most. He's been around a long time. To me, that I relate him to. You know what I mean? When I listen to his okay. music, I feel like it's like damn. There's been a lot of things like different songs that he's come out with, and I felt like it was almost like he was speaking directly to me, which was kind of crazy. But um, okay, no, okay, he's he's deep. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's got a lot. He's, of he's albums, not baked so, like us. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say DJ Quick, Quick. because, like yeah, I course, said earlier, this nigga's fun. Yeah. Um, it shows you a different side, and then it's like, That's good. you know, yeah. shit, shit is uh, shit's always lit with him, man. Like the fucking production on the shit is fucking amazing. Like I haven't heard anybody be as musical as he is. Like in producing a beat, and then like just come on there and just own the damn track, like Jordan mm -hmm. playing on home court. Every time, you yeah. know what I mean. Every time, <laughs> like, yeah. And uh, third, I have to say, Planet Asia, Ooh, because yeah. uh, this nigga is like just. You, you, already, you already said three. 
I no, said, I said Merce. Merce, 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 DJ. Oh, Merce, DJ Quick. I forgot about the. You had a nice DJ Quick soliloquy, my brother. And, and Planet Asia, because this nigga's just full of raps any fucking time. Um, never heard this dude come weak on anything. Mm. Set a bar. Set a bar, a standard on the wake up show. Yeah, he did. Like, alongside people with M and, and all that shit. Like, you know what I mean? That, that was like the standard. You had to yeah. be a, you know, Planet Asia caliber type MC. Absolutely. Uh, right. With, with uh, Crooked Eye also. And, tech, you know, tech Nine tech, and all like, the, That was the fucking standard for yeah. the Wake Up Show. So, I mean, That's and, a good one. I, had, I was fortunate enough to be able to learn how to engineer on his album, one of his albums. And, okay. Uh, had to be 10 steps ahead of this dude who's fucking just Oh, Cleve, Cleve, just, <laughs> Cleve just stunned on us. You did. Cleve just stunning on us. <laughs> His list shitted on mine, some shit. So, I mean, those are my three. I mean, like, but I got sitting on any song. motherfucking time. Yeah, there you go. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're going to get to mine. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I got to say uh, E40. And why? E40. <coughs> E40 is my favorite rapper because uh, he's from Vallejo. Yeah. Um, he talks about things. He talks about things. When I was when I was young, he talked about things that were um, a block away from me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He talked. You know, he talked about. You know, we spoke the same language. People in Vallejo talk a little bit different than people in Oakland or people in Richmond. You know, every everybody have their own little slangs in the Bay Areas. Okay. It's different. Um, and E40 is who I related to more. More than Mac Dre or anybody. A lot of people like to say, oh, I've been riding Mac Dre. Oh, oh. Well, not really. Like, I mean, I listened to Mac Dre back in the day, but a lot, a lot of people weren't on Mac Dre really until after he uh, passed. Okay. Um, but e, I gotta say E40, man, he gives you so much game. He give, he give you tons of game. Right? It sounds like gangster rap, but it's really not. It's really intelligent. E40, uh, he gave you a bunch of game. Uh, he, he make you laugh. You know what I'm saying? He got song like a gangster cry. You know what I'm saying? He got all type of stuff that's just really relatable. I love E40. Uh, and I think he is probably the most underrated rapper of all time. Shout out to E40. Um, this guy built a million dollar, million dollar franchise on his own. And they're selling selling bottles and they doing great. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Vallejo he puts Vallejo on. Slur K E F O O. Yeah, and then uh, I would say number two is is Cool G Rap. Nice. And, nice. and Cool G Rap just is because like I think earlier in the show how I was talking about how I love gangster rappers, but I only like them when I believe them, mm -hmm. and Cool G Rap is one of those guys. And he was the first guy that was like that. And he's such an incredible MC. Right. Uh, right. You know, listen to Cool G Rap. Um, you should definitely listen to some Cool G Rap if you ain't up on him. Uh, but he's a legend, been doing it since the 80s. I think the first song I heard of him um, was, was with Nas on that Life's a Bitch song. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's older Cool G. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. He's been around since before that. But, but like, yeah. that's the first time like it was like something like that. He's been on a lot of, he's been on a lot of like, stuff. But when hearing this verse on there, I was like, oh, damn, this is cool. Cool G. Gosh. Road to the Riches, that was the one. Yeah, man. Road to the Riches. <laughs> Road to the riches. Get up on Cool G Rap. He was, he's so old school. He was in the Juice Crew. Happy birthday, hip hop. Happy birthday, the, hip hop. There you go. Cool G Rap uh, in my number two spot. Number three, or. Number three, yeah. Number three. My, number th my number three spot may surprise some people. But um, I'm a I'm a deep thinker. I, I read books. Uh, I look deeper into shit. That's why people, you know, people, you know, people are actually saying, "Why do you always talk about trannies on your show?" Say but what? but really, I've only had the topic twice. But I think it's because I talk so deep about when I talk about it. I talk so deep about it. They think that's all we talk about. And uh, I think that was a great thing. That's the only part that they listen to at the whole show. Exactly. That's the only, Lenny just said it's the only part that you listen to. 
<laughs> Even though that's me, I mean, whatever. But I like Nas, man. He's uh, there you go. that's who it I'm is. That's who it is, Nas. Uh, he's a, man. He's a thinker. He 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 figures out every different way a topic, how to rap, and how you can twist it another way. And man, he's he, the his the, his rewind. way with words. Reverse. Re- rewind is incredible. Rewind yeah. was incredible. That song was fucking dope. Yeah, I mean that's just you take t- what type of person the, that is. The, the the get down the show. I know you watched the Get Down. The show, the Get Down. Yeah, he, yeah. He I watched. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, dude, you got the yeah. storytelling and that see. shit. Just if uh, you don't watch the show, look, look for the verses, bro. He spits. Some go shit. no, I, you will watch, yeah, watch the show. Watch the show. It's a good yeah, show. You know, this, this is narrating, bro. It's like some real dope storytelling, man. I was like, oh, it's shit. the Get Down is about to get the the Get Down part in the record. Like yeah, it's yeah. it's about the beginning of hip hop. They got uh Will Will Smith's son in there. Second season, he he's a Bati boy in the second season. <laughs> I didn't actually. I saw like two episodes of the second season, but yeah, man, he has a, a relationship with a, a young Caucasian uh, boy. Is that right? Mm-hmm. But the the show's a really good show. Uh, it's about the beginning of hip hop. Uh, it's really good. Hip hop. Happy birthday, hip hop. We ain't gonna sing uh, no bullshit. Happy birthday or nothing like that. We just, shit on. We about to just get up out of here. It's been a great show. I had Cleve and Lenny in the building with me at the same damn time. At the same damn time. At the same damn yeah. time. It was a. I think it was a good show. I think it was a good show. It had a nice flow to it. Um, we got we got a little deep. Got got some politics going. That's why I wanted all of us here. We got we we stayed on the topics. Uh, it was a great show. All in all, you motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Peach nigga. <laughs> so, so we signing off on our ninth show. I think the next show is a milestone show. It's going to be our tenth show. So I think ten is um, would be a milestone for us. This started off just a let's see how it goes. Then it picked up traction. So let's keep it moving, fellas. Yeah. And uh, let's get out of this bitch for right now. Sure. All right. Peace, niggas. Peace. Download all the Slideshow podcast at theslideshow.com.